CSGO is 10 years old. Happy birthday. Since Counter-Strike itself only recently reached 20 years old, it means that CSGO has been a thing for almost half of Counter-Strike's history at this point. And when I think back to what I was doing and who I was 10 years ago, it really puts into perspective how much has changed since then. And today, Counter-Strike changes just a little bit more. Almost five months ago, Valve announced a 10th birthday sticker capsule to be full of community-made designs, but they gave people lots of freedom to do as they pleased, so long as its theme was CSGO. Today, the 10-year birthday sticker capsule has dropped, and with a massive 65 different designs contained inside. It's well worth browsing through all of these, as they show the true imagination and creativity of this game's community. Some immortalise memes, well, in fact most of them do, but some are just there because they look nice. And we get an extraordinary tier of sticker featuring a beautiful lenticular effect. It's sort of like those old-fashioned 3D effects, but combined with cutting-edge pixel shading. The designs we see here are stunning, but I feel we've only scratched the surface of what this new technology can achieve. Though credit to this lower tier hollow design, which manages something similar of a CT diving off the side of Vertigo. I feel like real effort has gone into each and every sticker in this collection, and it is, in my opinion, the star of this birthday celebration. But I know that all this is just community driven. It feels like Valve are yet to drop their own work for this occasion. But to tide us over until then, we get five community made maps to keep us busy. Goodbye to Climb, Crete, Hive and Iris, and hello to three new proper maps and two new Wingman ones. And there are some big names here. Prime Time is a Wingman map that I recently covered because while we haven't got Source 2, this map looks good enough to be a Source 2 map. The other new Wingman map I have no idea how to pronounce, but I'm going to say it's Blugai. And it's based on the name of a waterfall in Bosnia. I know very little about the mappers behind this project, and it seems like this is the first that they've released, so it's great that they've been featured almost immediately. Let's see if it's any good. And of the three big diffuse maps, Anubis makes a new start, having already been featured in the game a few years ago, and I think we can all agree is one of the best looking and playing diffuse maps of all time. So it's great that it's returned. Breach is another name that you may be familiar with. It's a diffuse map from back in 2019. But don't be fooled. What's featured here is the new Breach 2.0, which the makers uploaded to the workshop last month. It's still Breach, but it's presumably better in every way. Maybe it's even ready for Source 2. Check out the link in this video's description for a lowdown of all the changes to it. Middle and A are where the biggest changes have been made. And the last new map is a new map, but also the oldest of the lot. Tuscan is a map with a long and turbulent history. Initially made for 1.6 to definitely not be CPL mill, the maker of this map has long been protective of their creation, refusing to let just anybody work on it. But cat food proved worthy, and I covered the map a while ago when it was just 95% complete. Check that video out here. But now the map is 100% complete, with this tunnel area now fully textured. It's a weird bit of the map. It's faithful to how it was in older games, but very unusual to be seen in CSGO, as once you set out on this route, there are no splits in the path for quite a while. For instance, if terrorists head down this route, then they're fully invested in an A site push. So this update is not perhaps the biggest we could have hoped for, but you can expect the usual celebratory confetti and hat wearing chickens, and there's a small but welcome change which lets you browse through the contents of stuff by using these arrows at the top of the screen, which will definitely make browsing all 65 new stickers in the 10 year collection a lot easier. And finally, there is a 10 year birthday coin that you can earn by getting enough experience for your first in game drop of the week but you only have until the 22nd of August to do this, so get on with it. This is a birthday, not a multi-month long operation. But it would be nice if we got one of those as well.